Welcome back to my channel. In this lesson of Algebra 1, we're going to be solving rational equations. In the last video, we solved radical equations, which has a square root. But we're solving rational equations today. A rational equation is an equation where both the numerator and denominator are polynomials or rational expressions. So here's an example. 3 divided by m squared equals m minus 4 divided by 3m squared plus 2 divided by 3m squared. See, we have polynomials in each of the denominators. How would you solve for m in this equation? First, I'm going to start by combining the denominators. So, 3 divided by m squared equals m minus 4 plus 2. We can combine them because they have the same denominator. So, m minus 4 plus 2 is m minus 2. Divide by 3m squared. Now, what do we do? Now, I want to multiply both sides of the expression, the equation, by 3m squared to cancel out on the denominator. So we multiply by 3m squared. If you multiply what's in the denominator, it will cancel out. And if you multiply that by 3m squared on the right hand side 3m squared divided by m squared is 3 so the m squared will cancel out and we have 3 times 3 which is simply 9 so after simplifying the equation we have 9 equals m minus 2. I'm going to explain that again. Since you multiply both sides by 3m squared, 3m squared divided by m squared is 1, no, it's 3, and then we have 3 times 3, which is 9. Now let's solve the equation by adding 2 to both sides. And m is equal to 11. That's how you solve a rational equation. All right, let's give you guys another example. All right, let's say we have one divided by n equals one divided by five n minus n minus one divided by 5n. How about I let you guys try and see if you can solve this one first before I do. All right, let's solve this. So to get first, we have to combine the denominators. They have the same, same monomial. So we're gonna combine it. So one divided by n equals one minus, in parentheses, n minus 1, divided by 5n. Let's simplify the numerator. 1 minus n minus 1 is simply negative n plus 2. So you're basically distributing the negative 1. So we're going to have 1 divided by n equals negative n plus 2 all over 5n. Now, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 5n. If we multiply 5n from the denominator, it will cancel out. And if we multiply 5n from the numerator, 
from the other side of the equation mean 5n divided by n is 5. In 5 times 1, we'll just have 5. So we're going to have 5 equals negative n plus 2. Let's subtract 2 from both sides. Negative n equals 3, which will give us n equals negative 3. So negative 3 is our solution for the second example. All right. Let's give you another example on rational equations. Let's say we have x minus 6 divided by x equals x plus 4 divided by x plus 1. But what would you do here? We can not combine denominators. Let's start by replacing 1 with x divided by x. That is 1. A variable divided by that same variable is 1. So we're going to have x minus 6 divided by x equals x plus 4 divided by x plus x divided by x. Now we can combine the denominators, giving us x minus 6 over x equals 2x plus 4 over x. Now we will multiply both sides by x and it will cancel in the denominator and multiply on both sides by x. We will get x divided by x from the denominator will cancel out and it will become one. So what we're left is just x minus six equals two x plus four. Let's solve the equation for x. And our solution is negative 10. x equals negative 10. That is our solution in the third problem. All right. Let's give y'all one more. Actually, no, we'll stop for today and we'll do more topics tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. And that's how you solve rational equations or equations with polynomials. Thank you.